Good morning, everyone. I decided I'm going to do a video of my finished guest room. So here we go. This here is a chair that was given to me, and it was all in pieces. So I put it all back together, and then I stained it a dark oak, and then I whitewashed, or excuse me, dry brushed white onto it. And I love the way it turned out. This picture had a gold frame. And I've always had it in this guest room, but I didn't like the gold frame. And so I changed it out to match the colors in the room and I love how it looks right above that little chair. And over here is the new armoire that my husband made. I just love it. It turned out so beautiful. And I'll show you the inside. Just love it. The light is from the RV show that we purchased last year. It's just a little battery operated one. This rod here we had on another project that we did and I saved it. So it works perfectly. And then we put a mirror in the back. And then you've got your shelves. He did soft closed hinges with magnets. And they close by themselves. I love that. Then, this is a bench that Patty gave me. And I re stained it and then uh, um, recovered it with the fabric that matches the curtains that I made. And then I made that quilt about 30 years ago. And then the pillow I made. The curtains that I made, I lined with muslin. And, let's see. and then the vintage clock in the window. And then this rooster, I picked up when I was with my friend Lori Thursday, or Friday, and um, I put it on two pieces of wood that I had painted. And I used chicken wire in the background of it to get that silhouette, a little bit of chicken wire in the background. And so I mounted it on that and hung it up there. My husband framed out the windows so that they were nice and farmy house looking. <laughs> and then of course the famous beds. I love the beds. And the lights that I made, I bought the still at Home Depot See my smashed finger? That shows you I work. <laughs> um, the tin I bought from a craft, online craft store. And then I bought the Edison light at Home Depot, the little light, pull chain light from Amazon. And you just pull it, oops, sorry for doing it that loud. And uh, you pull it and that way you have a reading light. I just love it. So each bed has one of those. Each bed has a hook for your purse, your house coat, your jacket, whatever. This is the picture that I made. I took a white 
this was these are old pieces of wood that were part of a fence on this property and so I used those and painted that and this is the famous enamelware that's not really enamelware but I did do a video on it on how I did it because that is just a stainless steel bowl that I spray painted to make it look like enamelware the picture was white but it had a silver rim and I spray painted it red to have the look of enamelware it's a little iron I've had for ages it's his grandma's holy bible on this little shelf I love that um, this cabinet was all white and I believe I purchased it at Shopco and I just changed the knob out and painted it to match the outlets and all the other colors in the room. The pillowcases I made and I used three different laces. Rick rack, a little yellow lace and then the white lace. Uh, the sheets are the cherry design and I bought those at Kohl's. The thermal blanket I got it Bed Bath & Beyond and it's a very nice blanket. Um, the mohair throws I bought on Amazon. Not impressed because they're a lot thinner than I thought they would be but they're pretty on the ends of the bed. This sign here I made too out of pallets. I took uh, two pieces of pallets and stripped them down made the outside frame then I took another piece of uh, just piece of wood spray painted it a dark red then a dark chocolate and then black and it came out really cool color and then I painted the words and the saying on it then um, that goes really good over the bed then on my light up here I used my other spindles that I had bought in Pennsylvania um, for my pull chains on my light. And they turned out really cool. They have a hole in the end of them, so I just made the hole just a little bit bigger for the beads to go down into. And then I used uh, Gorilla Super Glue Gel and then let them dry and I stained them a dark oak which because they were a light light oak and that way it fit better in the room the planter or the basket that I'm using for my light I changed out the other one I did not like the way it turned out at the top so this one I love um, it's just one of those hanging baskets outside I took the chains off I um, covered it with chicken wire and then I spray painted it all black my blades, I did the espresso color from the spray can. Same for that top part up there on the uh, base of it. And um, I just love the way it turned out. I used an Edison light and uh, I thought it turned out really good. So that's that. And that is our guest room. So now it's ready for our guests today that are coming in. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day.